Well, hi there, folks. We're back today with another Microsoft tutorial, and this one's going to be looking into Excel really quick. We're going to look at the sum function, so we're going to look at three different ways that we can add our data together um, using different sum formulas inside of Excel. So you'll see right here in column B, we have our week one data. Column C, we got week two data, and column D, week three data, obviously, and they stretch throughout the days of the week, Monday through Sunday. So in this first column, we can do a, a rather tedious method actually where we just hit the equal sign and then we're going to come up here and select this first one and we're going to hit plus and select the second one, plus again, plus again, plus again, plus again, plus again, and sometimes that's the way that people want to do it. Um, I prefer to keep you awake while we're teaching you the sum function, so we're going to do a little bit quicker way, but you certainly can add it this way if you'd like. So equal sign to activate your formula and just select each of the cells. A little bit easier option is we're going to hit the equal sign. We're going to go ahead and type in sum, and then we're going to put open parentheses here. Now it's going to ask us for our numbers, so we want to do this whole range right here. So we're going to drag from C2 all the way down to uh, C8, and we're going to close that parentheses off and just hit enter. And that'll give us a total there. Now the nice thing about this is if we delete any of these numbers, you'll see that it automatically updates. So if you're using a template where you've got to com constantly put in different numbers, uh, this is probably the best way for you to go. And it'll just automatically calculate the sum of this column right here. Now one other method that we can use to, um, to calculate our sum quickly is we can go right down here and we're just going to select um, these numbers right here, okay, and uh, we're just going to highlight them and then we're going to come right up top here and this little sigma sign, um, you can click on that and that'll give us the sum right there. Now you'll see that the formula is very similar to um, our other formula, which we had right here. Um, because if you use the sigma sign, it automatically puts the formula in. So same thing here, if we delete anything and we put in a different number, you'll see that Excel will automatically populate it. And so we'll do one more just for fun here. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the equal sign and then we're going to say sum right here. And we're gonna open parentheses and then we're gonna drag across our totals and then we're gonna close that and hit enter and that'll give us the sum of our sums. So hopefully that solution works for you. It gives you three different options to use the sum formula in Excel and certainly makes adding quite a bit easier. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, we'll keep giving you lessons daily if we've got them, and that'll be for PowerPoint, Excel, and Word. So go ahead and subscribe to the station if you've got any special requests for formulas or uh, anything in PowerPoint or Word. Go ahead and type it in in the comments below, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. Have a great day.